Hey guys, Josiah here at EasyCaters.com. I uh, wanted to walk you through the new bid ask spread indicator for Thinkorswim. Um, we are releasing this today, and uh, I've had several requests for this uh, for different different parts of the functionality included in here. What what the indicator is going to include is this column, which shows you the current bid ask spread. Now, right now we're in the overnight hours. Uh, it's Sunday evening. And so all these stocks uh, are, you know, have wide spreads because of that. But you can see here that uh, the, the column is color-coded based on how wide the spread is relative to the ATR, the average true range uh, of whatever time frame you choose. So uh, what that means is uh, when, and I can go in here to the formula and show you uh, the settings, and what uh, what essentially is doing is saying on whatever time frame you choose up here in the setting, whether it's the weekly, the daily, the five minute chart. If you're trading on the five minute chart, you can set it to five minute. And right now that will mean that the spreads are really wide compared to that. You can see they all highlight red showing you that they have an extremely wide spread right now because of the overnight hours. Uh, but essentially what it's doing is looking at whatever time frame you set it at and saying, okay, each of these bars average range is XYZ amount. And so at what percentage of that amount do we want to highlight at these different colors? So you get to choose these percentages. 0 0.10 means 10%, 0 0.25 means 25, 50% of that amount, and 1.0 means 100% of that amount. So whatever the ATR is of the current candles, um, over the past 14 bars, uh, it is when it's at 100% of that amount, um, then it's going to highlight bright red like this. When it's uh, at 50%, it's going to highlight the text a, a bright uh, red color. When it's at 25%, it's going to be a dimmer red color. When it's at 10% or below, then it's going to be like a, a gray green color, showing you that it's it's more uh, tradable at that point. So you can set the time frame here based on, um, I'm going to set it to weekly just to show you during the current time frame um, how it will look at those different thresholds. And so it lets you kind of uh, see which stocks are okay to trade, which are safe to trade, and which stocks are kind of like more iffy right now because the spread is going to really hit you. Um, so anyway, it lets you customize that. You can also, uh, if you don't want to use the ATR, which kind of is a little bit more responsive, the reason I use that is because it's a little more responsive to the, the current price action. If you're trading a $200 stock, you know, you're, uh, you know, uh, a three cent spread doesn't really uh, matter, but, um, you know, maybe if you're trading a, you know, a $1 stock, a three, a three cent spread would matter. So that, that's just, uh, you know, uh, using the ATR, you're able to um, allow the indicator to be responsive to the, this, the price of the stock and the current price action or volatility of that stock. So, but if you would rather use a fixed amount, you can just delete this and put, you know, say 10 cents or 20 cents or 50 cents and say 50 cents would be the highest um, threshold where it highlights uh, red over here on the column, and then at different percentages of that 50 cents, then it would um, highlight those other colors. So you can do this in several different ways, but that column allows you to um, either do a fixed amount and then colorize based on percentage of, the, of that fixed amount, or do a, a responsive ATR and then colorize based on percentages of that ATR. So I wanted to display. Uh, kind of go over that with you and show you how it works. You can uh, choose the, the colors, uh, you know, Thinkorswim has built-in colors for, you know, light green, dark green, light red, dark red, uh, bright red, and so forth. So if you want to change these colors, that's doable as well. Um, and then, so that's the column, and I've had a lot of requests for that, so I wanted to go ahead and release that. Now, I'm, I'm also including this indicator, which you can place on your chart and which will show in a label up at the left hand corner what the current spread is for the chart uh, 
on the current bar, uh, between the bid and the ask for the current bar. And it also displays the bid and the, uh, the bid and the ask prices as lines on the chart, and you can customize the links of these lines. And it will also display the last traded price um, for the chart. And uh, it will colorize the last traded price line based on whether it happened at the bid of the ask. Now I'm on the E-mini right now, and uh, you might be able to see it in this video, but it's kind of hard. Because the spread is only 25 cents, um, the last price line is happening either at the bid or the ask most of the time. It's, it's, uh, so you don't even see the last price line right now. It's not between the bid and the ask. It's, it's actually at the bid or the ask right now. Um, so, uh, but if it uh, jump, I'm just waiting here to see if it would jump outside of that level so you could see it on the chart here. Uh, but you can kind of see it's highlighting back and forth as it oscillates between the bid and the ask. Well, that's the last price line which colorizes to a bright green when the trade happens at the ask, colorizes to bright red when the trade happens at the, uh, the bid. So when bids are getting hit, it says, you know, it colorizes red saying, okay, look, this is a little bit more bearish per perhaps. And when uh, asks are being paid, then uh, it colorizes green, as that can indicate some bullish uh, momentum or, or activity. Now you can customize all the colors and the line lengths, like I said. So you can choose the line length here in the settings. And so that shortened the line to 10 bars. Uh, you can make the, this clouded, shaded area between the two lines uh, disappear or appear however you like. Um, you can make this spread label go away if you don't like that. Uh, it highlights different colors based on, uh, I'll show you, it can disappear there, um, but it, the way it's set up is it can highlight different colors. Uh, you can see it just a little bit there as it oscillates between 25 cents and 50 cents. It goes up uh, a threshold and so it colors a little bit brighter red when it uh, jumps up to 50 cents. Um, but you can change uh, what text is displayed in the label right here. You can change the um, method used to calculate what high, a high spread and a low spread is. So you can see there it just jumped up to a 50 cent spread and uh, highlighted a brighter pink there. Uh, but anyway, the ATR uh, method allows you, like in the column, to let the indicator be responsive to the current volatility so um, uh, of whatever chart you're trading. So um, it would you know, look at the last X number of candles and say, what's the average volatility over that period? And you know, at different percentages of that, we can highlight at different colors to indicate that the spread is getting wider. And you can set those percentages here, just like in the column. Uh, 1.0 means 100% of this, the uh, ATR or the, uh, that range, 50%, 25%, and 10%. And these are all explained in the little uh, pop-up boxes here, these little tool tips. Um, you can also set it to a manual setting where you can then specify a specific um, spread amount that you want to be the maximum, the high, the high spread warning level. And then these percentages would be based on that level instead of the ATR. So uh, you can choose either method you want. And then if you choose ATR, you can customize the length of the ATR and how the ATR is calculated there, um, what price the uh, bid and ask is based on, which it should pretty much always be closing price. And then there's also an alert here that's optional that allows you to be uh, to have the indicator play a chime to you, like give you an audible alert uh, when the bid ask spread crosses above the extremely high threshold that you set. So either the, uh, the ATR or that um, uh, manual high spread amount that you've set in settings. So you can turn that on or off by unchecking this box here or checking it. Uh, you can set all the colors for the label here, uh, low spread, minor, moderate, high and extremely high. And so it would colorize the label based on all those. 
you can change the cloud color that appears between the two lines, the, and then you can change what color the last price line colors based on whether it's at the bid or the ask, or if it's between the bid and the ask right there. So that's how you adjust all these settings. You can also adjust the line styles for the different plots over here, uh, and the colors for each of those lines. Um, so all that should be pretty self-explanatory. There are tool tips for these settings uh, that should help out. And um, as always, if you have any questions about anything, you can always email us and we're, um, you know, we respond usually within about uh, you know, so six or 12 hours at the maximum. Um, so we're pretty responsive via email and uh, we're always happy to answer any questions that you have in advance or after the purchase. Uh, so feel free to send us an email. Uh, hopefully this helps with the walkthrough. Um, when you purchase the indicator, we send you a Thinkorswim import link, which you simply click on, or you can paste it into the setup open shared item menu here. Just paste it right in there and hit, hit preview, hit open, and that will import it directly into your system. So it's super simple to import into your uh, system. And then you just, um, for the column, uh, you just right click anywhere on your watch list column header, click customize and pull it up in the list there. For the indicator, you would just pull it up in the studies dialog here. Uh, well, I hope uh, this walkthrough helps. And if you have any questions, like I said, just send us an email and we will talk to you next time. Thanks.